at bisecting line segments. But today, let's switch it up. Let's bisect an angle. Remember that bisect means to divide into two parts, and both of those parts are equal. So let's start by drawing an angle. Let's draw and bisect a 60 degree angle. I can start by making a horizontal ray. Let's make a point at the start of our ray and label it as K. To construct our angle, we can use a compass. Now we can take any measurement on our compass. For this case, let's take a measurement of about three inches. Placing the leg of the compass on K, make an arc. As you can see, this arc intersects our horizontal ray at a point. Let's label this point as L. Again, taking our compass, remember to keep it at the same measurement. Placing one leg on point L, make another arc. These two arcs also intersect at a point. Let's label it as J. Finally, to construct our 60 degree angle, we can make a ray that goes from K to J and extends. This gives us angle J, K, L, which measures 60 degrees. We can write it as angle J, K, L, or by using the angle symbol. Now, we've drawn a 60 degree angle, but how can we bisect it? Well, we can bisect it using our compass. Taking the same measurement on a compass, place one point or the leg of the compass on L and make an arc. Then, Take the leg on the compass and place it on J, making another arc. As you can see, these two arcs intersect at a point. Let's label it as N. We can make a ray that goes from K to M and extends. So we have bisected this 60 degree angle into two angles that measure 30 degrees each. Let's label these angles. We can write this angle as angle J, 
K M. Or by using the angle symbol. And we can write this angle as angle M K L. Or by using the symbol. We constructed a 60 degree angle, angle J K L, and bisected it into two 30 degree angles angle JKM and angle MKL.